The sun is rising, promising a pleasant day. Soon its rays will pierce the morning fog and warm our camp. For now I'm still enjoying the chilly morning air, which is refreshing me after this long, long night. It's giving me new energy, just like the resistance movement itself has seemingly been re-energized by the liberation of Nikos. It is interesting that the presence of one man can improve the morale of the fighters so much. But I'm being told that he is very important. One of the earliest members of the resistance, one of its commanders, and someone who was able to procure weapons for them, when nobody else could. Now he tells us he has important information that will lead to a decisive victory over the AAF. I hope he's right. I don't know if NATO will ever be able to come looking for survivors of my task force on these islands. So victory might be my only ticket home. And for my sanity's sake, I need to know that all this death and suffering is getting us closer to it. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of the East Wing Campaign and Armor 3. An episode that starts with a beautiful view on the mountains of this island, with the sun coming up behind us. I wonder how these mountains look in real life. After all, Altus is modeled after the very real island of uh, Limnos in Greece. So yeah, interested people can go and see these mountains in real life. If some of you have accomplished this, let me know how your visit to the island was. Maybe I'll go there myself one day. But for now, we will continue the campaign with another main story mission. So let's go ahead and we will go to the briefing. Oh, come on, I think I have to talk to you. Kerry, great job bringing Nikos home. It's a real game changer. Stavr wants to debrief us now. You ready? I sure am. Although I have a suspicion that um, the briefing will not happen immediately. And I was right. Brothers, join me in welcoming Nikos home. With him back at our side, the return of a legitimate government is a little closer. While it is unfortunate that our British friends could not be here themselves to celebrate this victory, there are more pressing matters at hand. Nikos has brought new information. Although we are still trying to verify his intel, we now believe that NATO is ready to launch an invasion. Oh. Miller and his team have already moved north. Their objective is to watch enemy movement and, if possible, establish contact with NATO command. So, while we do not know any specifics, only one target makes sense. The main airport, which operates under joint CSAT AAF control. We will watch the situation carefully and prepare to make our own strike when the moment comes. Our target will be the AAC airfield to the south, operated entirely by the AAF. We will draw the bulk of the AAF from the defense of the main airport, leaving NATO to deal with CSAT. This is where the tide turns, brothers. We are stronger than ever before. An end to our struggle is finally within our grasp. Let us not waste it! Okay, very interesting news that we just received. NATO seems to be coming to the island. To do what exactly? To search for survivors of my task force? To just kick the AAF's ass for attacking us in the first place? Well, we'll see. We'll find out soon enough. For now, Let's make sure that we have our best weapons and equipment at hand. Ah, I'll shop a little bit and then we'll resume this. I didn't actually change much about my loadout at all. I just picked up more ammunition and more rifle grenades. A lot more rifle grenades especially. 
some flare rounds because I suppose that will this will be a night mission. So flares might come in handy depending on how dark it gets. Okay, my men are waiting out here. They they will receive some top some really good gear. Grab the required items. Oh, wait. What is required? It didn't say. That's weird. What do you require of me? Let's see. Hey! Is there something? Weird. But it doesn't let me do anything. No? What could that be that we need? Usually it's uh, explosives, so let me just pick up some. No, they're here in the ammunition crate. Operation begins in three. Yeah, yeah, I know. Explosive. There we go. Two explosives. Yeah, that was it. Now we can assemble. Getting kinda heavy now. Oh, look at this nice view. Is that the sea down there? Shrouded in fog? Let me have a quick look. We are looking down this way. Yeah, that is indeed the sea. And the island where the mysterious cache was on is right there. View distance and armor is an amazing thing. Now let's go. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look at the briefing before we start the mission. So the situation report is just out of speech, we are going to skip that of course. We are going straight to the mission details. As part of our assault on the airfield, this one down here, we must neutralize a CSAT artillery position, which is in Poliaco, and assault a temporary command complex established in Poliaco's town center. So. This seems to be the plan. Stevru and Sigma are attacking the small airfield down here. Uh, they are assuming that NATO is attacking the big airfield in the middle of the island. And we, we are tasked to go to Poliaco, take out an artillery position and um, destroy a command post. Execution. Destroy the artillery position, neutralize all hostiles at the command complex and seize any intel you find. Await further orders from Slingshot. And the groups involved are Omega, which is my team, Sigma, friendly reinforcements, and Slingshot, the headquarters and main assault element. So they are going through Teresa and then towards the airfield. These guys are attacking the airfield directly, and we are taking care of Poliaco. Ambitious. That's an ambitious plan, and we can only hope that NATO forces really do make an impact here and maybe push towards us. We see that on the map it's mentioned that a platoon of enemies is stationed in Neokori. Here in Poliaco we have maybe two squads of enemies, AAF and CSAT. Teresa is guarded by a squad, and then of course the airfield itself by a platoon of motorized infantry and of course the second helicopter squadron. For that reason, I am actually equipping my man a little bit differently. Here we have Xenakis. Xenakis is our machine gunner. He has received a thermal weapon sight, a silencer, bipod of course, extra ammunition, a pistol. So he's pretty well loaded and the th thermal weapon sight should mean that he um, can be pretty devastating to the enemy. Then we have Kamandis. Kamandis is carrying an anti-aircraft missile launcher with an extra missile in the backpack. He's a little bit, um, well, our pack animal, so to speak, because he's also carrying an extra belt for the machine gun, an extra demolition block, and of course his med kit, because he is supposed to be our medic. I have equipped him with the VS-121 uh, designated marksman rifle from that we captured from some CSAT soldiers a while ago. I think that with this rifle he will have a nice impact on the engagement and he can also use it close up if it needs to be done. He too has received a thermal weapon sight, sound suppressors, 
everything, all that nice stuff. I did debates to equip him maybe with one of the big sniper rifles that I have, the Lynx or the M2000, but I don't think I have silencers for those, unfortunately. I would for the Mark 14, but yeah, if I given the Mark 14 or this one, I think in that case I prefer this one. Caliber 12.7 and Caliber 408. I don't have. No, I don't have uh, suppressors for that kind of caliber. And I would like to keep things silenced if possible. So that's why we are going with this armament. He is quite heavy. I will have to keep an eye on him, see if he can actually keep up with us. If not, maybe he will have to dump something. And then we have Verga, our anti tank specialist. He is carrying an RPG-32 with a whole bunch of rockets, three of those high-explosive rockets, a nice revolver, and because he's running so heavy with all these rockets in his backpack, I have actually given him a submachine gun with a silencer and, um, well, some nice optics. Nothing fancy, but this is a 45 caliber submachine gun. I hope that he can mess up some enemies with that. And he has enough ammunition to do so. If I had given him a regular rifle, I think he, he would have been way too heavy to be really mobile and accurate with the rocket launcher. And every shot with this thing counts. So this is how we are rolling. Let's go into the mission. People used to think the large would eat the small. Instead it is the swift who are eating the slow. Let that sink in for a moment. Okay, what do we have here? Oh! Hey, look! Look! Nail Cory! Well, goddamn! At last! Looks like that's our cue then. Omega to slingshot. I think it's safe to say the invasion started. Over. Indeed, Omega. Good news. So, let's set our plan to motion. Moving on to reason now. Be careful of any reinforcements coming our way. We'll do, slingshot. Good luck. Over. And to you, my friend. Godspeed. Slingshot out. Awesome. The town is getting hammered back there. I recommend you hold your fire until you are oh. ready to strike, Omega. You'll catch them off guard. Be sure you take advantage of it while you can. Just know that they won't be surprised forever. Out. That town back there is definitely getting bombarded. Anti-aircraft fire going up into the sky. This is awesome. NATO is finally here to kick some ass. We are letting this truck pass because it is absolutely not relevant to what we are about to do. And I have seen what looked like the muzzle blast from an artillery piece. There. Okay, let's go that way then. Stay low. How nice of the enemies to tell us exactly where they are. Yeah, you all are armed to the teeth. I like to see that. Disregard the truck, he's not important. What's in front of us is... Man, that town back there is really getting hammered. See all the explosions. Okay, there seems to be a little hill here in front of me. Maybe from the hill I can actually see the enemies. Um, my man. Take cover. Take cover here. Let me go ahead and have a glimpse at this. That must be a big artillery piece. Okay, there are some rocks here. I can go to those without exposing myself too much. Let's have a look now. Oh, enemies. We've got an enemy. Spec up. Half a click bearing 030. I've got a visual. Unknown contact. Half a click bearing 030. That's a jet. I don't know who it belongs to. Maybe that just took off from the airfield. Hmm. 
I know why I've Spec equipped up. Amandus with zero three zero. an anti-aircraft missile launcher. If we should be entangled with jets and helicopters, then it's better to have that stuff. Okay, so there we have some enemies. And the artillery gun must be nearby. There are some tents here. There's another one Spec walking. And another one. Okay. I'm a bit concerned because these don't seem to be regular enemy soldiers. Look at all that kit they're carrying. Wait. Oh, that's actually the barrel of the gun here. So this behind the house, okay. Yeah, look at all the kit they're carrying. Night vision. Rifle with laser and optics. Their special helmets. So we are going up against special forces. That could be nasty. Small camp. Another enemy. You know what? This position here is actually good for my um, marksman, I think. I want Kadmandis. Three. Right here. On the way. Move to me. From here he should advise on some enemy soldiers. By the way, did you notice how bright the night is? We have a full moon, so that's why. I don't even need the night vision. Oh here he comes. Go Three, down. Get down. Even he's not using it. Standing by. Okay, do you have eyes on enemies? Do you see somebody? Or do I need to shift you? Yeah, I think Contact. you're a bit too Back far to the left here Bearing zero three zero. to really be useful, so if you could, you know, Scoot Three. just a bit to Move the right. Ready. That would be awesome. Target in sight. Rifleman. Help the plane. Northeast. There's an enemy. Spec up. 400 meters. Bearing 030. Zero, Three. Zero. Three. Move up. On the way. Three. Halt. Understood. Perfect. You should see them now. Okay, now for my machine gunner. Xenakis, I'll find a position for you as well. Spec up. Help the plane. Bearing 030. Zero, you know what, this doesn't look too bad here. Yeah. Xenakis. Move Two. to here. Move up. Roger that. Target acquired. Two. Hit the dirt. Do you see them? You should. Oh, you definitely should. Yeah, you have a good line of sight to the enemies. Ready. You can really give them hell. Okay. I think I will take Verga and I will move closer to the town. Ideally, I would like to get eyes on the artillery piece and blow it up. That should create quite a big confusion for the enemies. So Verga, Four, return to formation. all back, we are going this way. We are crossing the road here. And do stay behind Form me. File. Target acquired. It will take some time for me to get to the town. So I think I'll make a little cut here. We are just about ready to start the attack. I've positioned Verga here with the rocket launcher. He has a high explosive rocket loaded and will fire that into a group of enemies. Hopefully that will thin out their ranks sufficiently. I am moving around to this wall here to this corner. 
to see if maybe I can get a grenade of my own in at the enemies at the same time. With a bit of luck we can really decimate the enemies before they even have a chance to react. Everybody, hold Stop. your positions. Okay, let me take a look around this wall. I can't see anything like this. There's an enemy. Unknown think? contact, 100 meters front. I think this enemy is standing alone, so I might be able to take him out silenced without anybody noticing. He's down. Target acquired. I don't think that was silent. Nope, they know. Weapons free. Let it rip. Get them. I think you overshot the target there. The enemies are getting shots off at Verga, I suppose. Verga, don't. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. That's a good job. Reload a high explosive rocket. Don't waste all the normal rockets. He's going crazy with that RPG. position then and I'm moving forward. Let's see if I can get some shots in. I have movement in the grass There's here. There's an enemy. Machine gunner. 400 meters northeast. Do Got north. We lost one. We lost one. Enemy spotted. Soldier. 300 meters north. Can't see anything else at the Contact. moment. Man, 400 meters, north. But this side here is so open, I don't like that. Man, 400 meters, front. Let's see if I can get around on this side. Yeah, there's an enemy here. I saw you, where are you? You are pretty much in front of me. And you just messed with the wrong guy. He's dead. We've got an enemy. Machine gun. 300 meters. Bearing 015. Okay, it looks like they might be flanking right. Bad guys once again going crazy on them. Okay, Verga. Four, get ready. Four. I want you to form up with me now. Soldier. Jeez, what was that? Standing by. Negative. Spec off. What are you to the right of us? Got that guy. Enemies are trying to move in on me. It sounds like there are quite a lot of enemies in that smoke up there. Oh. Let's fire a few grenades their way then. Cover me! Reloading! Officer, 200 meters, front! Vega, that's you shooting? Yes. I see movement. Four. Stack off, 200 meters, front! Gotta reload. reload! Hostile! Got that guy. They are trying to flank me and they are not doing a bad job. Enemy fire! Oh. 
that guy's down. I have a feeling that I'm receiving flanking fire, but I don't know from where. There go, form up. There. I think I got him now. Machine gun and sniper engaging. Don't get pinned down. Keep to me. There's a lot of enemies here. Much more than I thought there would be. That's just blind fire right now. It's not working. Let's move through this ruin. Get off the road. There. Spec off, 100 meters, right. Did I hit him? Changing mags! Hey, I'm loading! Changing mags! There's still an enemy somewhere in that direction. Vega, do you have that under control? I hope so. Kathmandu's just got one. Awesome. I see the artillery piece. We are close to it. Actually, Verga, do you still have rockets? Or did you spend all of them? You expended all of them. Okay, that's fine. I think it's clear now. I have my demo chargers, I can use those to blow up that thing. I think we are clear. We are gonna stand back there, cover that side. I'm going here and I'll take care of that demo artillery piece. I'll smoke off the road and then I'll go across. Okay, smoke is developing nicely. Take a moment to check the enemy soldiers here. This one is wearing a backpack, I believe. What do you have? Oh, you're just a medic, okay. More enemy soldiers here. They are lying in a clump. I have a feeling that uh, Verga might have something to do with that. I have to be careful, there's still a crew inside that thing. Let me see if I can place one on the side. Oh, what's this? Reloading! I think the crew just got out. And I think that guy wants 
problems. So here, take some. Where'd you go? Sling. We've neutralized the enemy artillery position. Slingshot, these aren't seaside regulars here. There's something else. Special forces, maybe. Over. Copy that, Omega. Take great care. Slingshot out. Yeah, he's right. These were special forces. Okay, I'm moving back and then we'll detonate that thing. Just for good measure. Uh, that's goodbye. Should be enough to destroy it, right? Not quite, apparently. Now that RPG would be coming in really handy, Verga. But it doesn't matter, we accomplished the objective, the crew is dead, that thing is not shooting anymore. Four, Verga, follow me. Did I... Four Change the formation, there we go. Maybe we can find an AT soldier somewhere. Or maybe that's an ammunition truck. It doesn't look like one though. Okay, Berger and myself, we will now move in on the enemy command complex. I'll check the truck really quick. No. Wasn't there... I thought... Wait, let me check this. I thought we had an enemy demo specialist somewhere here in this area. So if I can find him, he might have the explosives that we need to blow this thing to kingdom come. Finding him won't be easy though, so I'm just taking a quick land and if I can't locate him, then that's just that. Here's an enemy. You don't look like a demo specialist. No, okay. Never mind. The command complex should be over there beneath that camo netting. And I don't know, but maybe we have already killed the enemies. Maybe they have been drawn to this fighting. Where's Verga? Okay, coming. He's coming. You know what? Let me actually go this way. We nailed a lot of enemies on this corner over here. I haven't given up hope of finding a rocket launch or something like that. Sprinting across. Yeah, here are some. You have nothing. Where did we nail them all? Was it down here in the vegetation here? Quite possibly so, yes. Around this house. Here's one, but that's... Not one of those that we seek. Here's somebody. Let's check on him really quick. No. Never mind then. If I find it, great. If not, doesn't. It doesn't matter. Let's move in on the command center. I think we have some intel to secure. Yeah, Verga. Come on. Join up. I think all the enemies have been drawn to the fighting and um, have already been killed off. So it's just about securing intel. But you know, we should still be careful, now that I think about it.
I wouldn't like a surprise this close to victory. That's the command post where the flag is. Yes. Okay. How do I approach this? It's fairly open here. Do I throw another smoke? I don't have another smoke. Um, I do have... Gotta reload! Did that just jump over the wall? I think so. It's fine. It's still producing the smoke that I need. Verga, are you with me? You're still lagging behind. Come on, dude, hurry up. Okay, let's move across. Here it is. Enemy command post. I'm making a slingshot. We've just taken the command no, complex. We got it. There's a lot of intel just lying around here. Received Omega. Good news. Awesome. We are oh, proceeding and with our assault on the airfield. For now, sneak in and wait for further orders. Over. Welcome. No problem. Take care of yourselves out there, slingshot. Out. So we're waiting now? What the oh. fuck? Omega to slingshot, be advised. The whole town just cut oh, this power. Bad. Expecting company shortly. Any ETA on Gamma? Over. Okay, guys, you have to Omega. come to me. Gamma are entering your AO now. Okay, we're receiving reinforcements. That's good. It sounds good. like you're dealing with CSET Special Forces, Omega. Avoid facing them directly. Otherwise, you'll be in for a tough fight. Hold back and let them come to you. Out. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh Where crap. Did he come from? Oh crap. Come on, this come on, this take that thing out. I hope you can see it. Please tell me you can see it. That sounded like you could see it. There you go. Awesome. Okay, everybody, come to me. Who's this? This gamma? Nice. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Lock and load. Okay. Turn to formation. Get into cover somewhere. That's a lot of soldiers. Awesome. I'll leave you to it. What? Enemies where? Trying to overwhelm the enemy with grenades at the moment. Move out. Not sure if this will work. So we have enemy spec ops pushing us. Yeah, give him hell. Oh, looks like he got it. Slingshot, this is Omega. 
We've beaten back the enemy counterattack, but we've suffered some losses. Please advise. Over. Hello, no, Omega. That area is still hot. Better pull back to the airfield and link up with us. Over. Copy that. South. Route. Any word from Miller yet? Okay, let's Over. go south. Negative, Omega. We have been unable to raise him. We'll keep trying. Please shut out. Yeah, we better go away before more enemies show up. The burning helicopter wreck is a nice touch, though. Awesome. I bet that thing was full of enemy troopers. Uh, by the way. Stay sharp! Form staggered column. Let's go, guys. Kavmanis has used both anti-air rockets, I think. Missiles. So, we are out of those. Do I hear helicopters? I think I do. I absolutely do. NATO! Yeah! Awesome! Give him hell! Okay, we are going for the helicopter that's crashing Omega, down. Beware of enemy contact, but make sure you don't hit the NATO pilot. We need them alive. You've got to put the stock to this attack. Okay. Guys, are you following? Yeah, well, kind of. Some of you are still far behind. Copy I did my tell stance. everybody to copy my stance, didn't I? Hurry it up. The helicopter went down over there. If we can get to it, the pilot might be able to call off the attack. Oh no. Form line. Form a line, guys. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah. AAF forces are moving in. There. Oh, you want to play that game? Rifleman, 75 meters front. That was pretty much on the money. Under fire! Savalas is also crazy with rockets. Enemy fire! You see that? what I do. You guys, you are too red. I will need a 
flanking element. Enemy you can be that. Have a quick look. Uh, Taking how's fire. the terrain looking? Okay, Team Red. Move that way. Okay, suppressing! Did we just fire another missile at these guys over there? Possibly. There's one. I don't know where the damn pilot is, but that trooper is not shooting our way. So I guess he was shooting at the position of the pilot. So the pilot is maybe where the helicopter is? Maybe in that building next to it? Anyway, I am moving. Maybe we got them all. Okay, everybody, let's go. Let's go in. The fighting has stopped. I think we got gotta them all. reload. Still, we are gonna reload just in case. And we still have NATO helicopters buzzing the area. What's your position? I hope they don't take a liking to me. The airfield is that way, where all the smoke and fire is. That's an ominous sign. Where's that pilot? What's your position? What's your position? I hope he doesn't shoot me. There. That must be him. Ben Carey Task Force H. But listen to me. Your helos are firing on friendly. Friendly? Agents? Holy fuck. No. We saw me lost you guys. Look, the FIA, the local resistance, they're assaulting that airfield. You're firing on friendly forces right now. We're working alongside British Special Forces, Captain Scott Miller. Just please get your command to suspend the attack on that airfield. <laughs> fuck! That's not our intel. We just. Hold on. Just wait a second. Crossroads. This is November. Priority. Crossroads. Priority. Cease fire on the airfield. We're firing on friendlies. Over. Say again, November. Over. Friendly forces operating at the airfield. I've got a U.S. soldier here at the crash site. Corporal Scott Miller. Part of TF Aegis, oh. sir. All units. Kevin. Cease fire on Objective Lima. I say again. Cease fire on Lima. Fall back to Point Echo. November, stay put. Keep an eye on him. We're on our way. Out. Sometime later. Regardless, we've had no record of a Scott Miller. Wait, what? 
Look, we're out of time. Come with us, Corporal. You need to be debriefed, and we need everyone we can get our hands on. The British have pulled out months ago. There are no records of a Captain Scott Miller. So who the hell have I been taking orders from since this madness started? What kind of game is being played here? And who the hell is that guy? And what does he want on all this?